Assalamu alaikum, welcome back my ninjas, welcome back, you're in uh, Ninja Muhammad from Tech Japan YouTube channel. Yes, uh, so uh, this is the video about the ROG 5 quick uh, video with the pros and the cons, reasons why should you buy it or reasons why you shouldn't buy it uh, in my own styles and also a call out for all ROG 5 users. Uh, if you have this device, please make sure to share with us personally with the honest, with truth, pros and the cons list in the description, in the comment section, sorry for that, under the description of this video, in the comment section, leave a comment with the pros and the cons if you have this device so the cons uh, for in my opinion here which i tested so far uh, one of them it is the problems with the uh, armory crate i can't say it's maybe a problem maybe it's a it's a uh Maybe it's a purpose problem, maybe it's a purpose thing which uh, ROG Ace has done that uh, you can't use the full power of this uh, device ninjas in Armory Crate uh, to have, uh, basically to have uh, the game, the smartphone uh, using the full power of the Prime Core at 2.84, it doesn't use it ninjas, uh, it varies, sometimes it drops, just a minute let me open here the crate, sometimes it drops to 1.56, 55, then sometimes it drops to 1 1.2, 1.8, so blah 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 ninjas unfortunately wait a minute go back uh, it doesn't use the full power this is one this is for me right now the biggest uh, con of the rog5 uh can't say it's a problem uh, why because uh, i saw that um, uh, uh, the other uh, youtuber the gaming dg he bought he basically attached the cooler attached the cooler to the rog5 and he could get the full potential power of the rog5 with a really good temperatures also again the good side of the cooler is the temperature but the bad side in other way that I spent a $900 phone here, $900 I spent for the ROG5, it costs around $900, uh, just to say that, and so this is the 16 GB RAM variant, it costs uh, $900. Uh, if you want to buy it by yourself, it's going to cost you something like that. Uh, and uh, I don't get the full power of this chip, uh, so I need to pay more to attach a cooler, which again, is not that even handy, and it's really not nice to have a cooler itself here, it's gonna obviously drain more of the battery, it's not that uh, kind of, I would say it like that, it's not that accessible, and it's not that kind of uh, pleasant to use your hold, hold your phone while the, you have an additional cooler on the back. Again, it's a good thing, I'm not telling you not to buy a cooler or something like this, it's just that it's the, that's the bad thing is that they uh, basically uh, kind of limited the power of the ROG5, you need to buy a cooler in, uh, in in order to get the full power so this is the big con which i'm telling you right now and you can find this out in my uh, special videos i've done two special videos of the rog5 and also compare it with the mi 11 to know what i'm talking about remember that anyway next what have we have next what we have next with the rog5 uh, it's if you watch the reg, uh, uh, the jerry rig everything he uh, basically does the durability test of the phones this device is just is not even close to, dur dur to durability it's not durable as the rog3 uh, it bends in jazz. It, it bends with the medium force of uh uh, of uh, basically with the medium use of force it bends it's gonna bend here so unfortunately this is also the con of the ROG5 it's not durable it's not kind of uh, the uh, yeah it's not durable it's not that uh, third hard hard rock sturd, uh, sturdy as the other uh, flagship devices uh, there's no IR blaster with the ROG5 there is no FM radio support for the ROG5 uh, there's no SD card expansion for the ROG5 unfortunately it doesn't have an SD card expansion and uh, example the video samples at the night just the video samples at the night here have a lot of micro jitters uh, at the day they don't have it but at the night when you're recording the videos with the back camera in 1080p it has a lot of micro jitters uh, but again, I think this every single gaming smartphone probably have the, has this issue. So these are the cons. These are the issues of the ROG5 here. And also, of course, another issue with call like that, it is the Snapdragon 888 uh, uh, overheats. The ROG5 will also overheat. The good thing, the, pro, uh, the good and the bad thing about this overheating, it doesn't overheat as the other devices. So that's why I was a little bit overwhelmed by the ROG5. Without the cooler, the additional uh, gadget cooler, it had uh, better uh, thermals than the example Xiaomi Mi 11. And uh, the pro thing about uh, the good thing, sorry for that, what I want to say <laughs> right now. Anyway, what I want to tell you is that yes, the good, bad thing is still the Snapdragon 888, even with the ROG5, will overheat in just, uh, uh, but the good thing is it doesn't drain that much of the battery as example the Xiaomi Mi 11. So that's the good thing about it, remember that, yeah, that's the good thing. 
so yeah, the pros, the pros of the ROG 5. Uh, so we have a performance wise, the Snapdragon 888, a great chip ninjas, beautiful chip here uh, for the power, uh, for the power itself, for the speed, for the gaming, for emulation. This is the best uh, chip that you can get. Uh, maybe it does use a lot of power there, uh, uh, a lot of ba battery itself here, but it does give you power, it does give you speed. 144 hertz touch, uh, 144 hertz high refresh rate and 300 hertz, 300 hertz. A 300 and hertz touch sampling rate so again this is a gaming device so you're gonna get gaming specs uh, uh, we have uh, out of file great dual front facing stereo speakers stereo speakers here the audio side this is uh, probably in the top three best sounding devices in the world and the camera the, the basically the microphone itself also it has four uh, microphones it has four microphones bro the noise cancellation with the rog5 is just next level we have air triggers air trigger five multiplier uh, multiplier Multiply inputs for total control. Uh, what else we have? We have a 6,000 mAh battery with a 65 watts fast charge included. It takes around one hour to fully charge this beast, Ninjas. Around one hour and five minutes. Beautiful, isn't it? And it does have here the triple camera setup, 64 megapixel back camera, EIS at the fork is amazing, 1080p is amazing, 1080p 60fps is amazing, front selfie camera, 1080p 60fps also superb, superb, superb. Anyway, let me just check here the YouTube at max resolution. Like, check this out. Beautiful. Anyway, so these are the pros and the cons of the ROG 5. It does have also amazing built-in uh, fingerprint sensor. It's very fast. The face ID is also very fast. Let me just try it for you. Beautiful. Uh, what else we can tell you about this? Uh, RAM management is also really good, but I'm having here 16 GB RAM variant, so I can't say uh, how it's going to behave with 8 GB RAM. The, the cheapest mo model of the ROG 5, I don't know how it's going to behave. So yeah, this is the ROG5 short video. If you want to check my full in-depth review, check it out on my YouTube channel. I highly recommend you to check my full review. For now, this is a pass-pass. I do recommend this device. I am a little bit disappointed that you need to have a gadget. But by the way, remember the first con which I mentioned, Armory Crate, uh, it doesn't use the full power and everything. Uh, probably they're going to update this uh, and fix this problem with the future update. Uh, without the cooler, uh, cooler fan, the cooler gadget, obviously the phone will probably even overheat more uh, with the full unlocked feature that is going to use the 2.84 gigahertz uh, right now it's just like you see myself here it just varies that's the problem with this right now with the rog5 they're going to fix it in the future they should they should do it they should do it anyway thank you for watching this and for watching this video the buying links will be in the description